I want you to try to keep an open mind for at least the first part of this video, because I'm going to pose a question here that I don't really have an answer to. I have an idea, but I don't really know the answer. And I have asked quite a few other people, and I've been watching the community take to public forms and post pretty much this question I'm about to ask you. So try to keep an open mind here and hear me out. Before we get into it, uh, I'm sure some of you probably noticed, I've been kind of MIA like the last three weeks. I've been dealing with stuff on the home front, and that's kind of taken away my time to do YouTube. It's not a solved problem yet. Hopefully it will be soon. Don't really know. But I've been watching people post on Facebook, because I'm in three or four of the Facebook groups for this game. And I've been watching an alarming number of people take to public forums and openly post their unhappiness. And it's not like one person, it's like hundreds of people in such a short period of time. And these are like active players for like multiple years, you know. And so in watching all that, I started posing the question uh, to the handful of people that I know that play the game and I talk to quite often, how long do you think Legends is going to be around for? I mean, just honestly, honest, how long do you think it's going to be around for? Because if you think about it, I can go look on my Xbox and there's probably 20 games on there that I haven't touched in two years. Well, four years ago, I used to play them all the time or even farther back than that, you know? There's one constant when it comes to gaming. Nothing is permanent, right? I mean, just think about it. You've played how many games in your life and you always move on to something else. Something takes your attention and, and you just drift towards what you find fun. So I've been asking some of the people that I know, and they all seem to kind of think different answers. You know, some say six months, some say, you know, 24 months. I'm sure there's going to be somebody out there that says the game will never die. And if you believe that, that's, you know, okay, great, good on you. You know what I mean? I know there's a lot of people out there that have sunk a lot of hard-earned money into the game because they just really love it. And if that's what you want to do, you know, fire away. But let's be honest. How long do we actually think this game's going to be here? Because today is update day. And I'll be real honest. Everything in these patch notes, I'm literally looking at them right now. Boring. I mean, there's, there's nothing in there that's exciting. And if you think back, last month, we got training rooms. But past that, there was nothing of, of value in that update other than training rooms. Well, think about the update before that or the update before that. I. I honestly, I'm trying to think of like the last update that I was like, yes. You know what I mean? Yes. This is a good update. And what, what, what gets me is like how many more just like mid updates can you throw into a game that is already so plagued by problems? Not even talking mechanically. Let's leave the mechanical stuff out. This isn't a single player game. This is a multiplayer game. And so the people you're playing the game with oftentimes will end up dictating how much fun you have. And that's from a lot of the postings that I've been seeing. I've been people complaining about the people on their teams. And I, I saw that as a problem like a little over two years ago. And I, I have tried to do something about it. Arguably more so than maybe anyone else. Definitely more so than Wargaming. What have they put out to try and help people? They've got a huge Discord, a huge Facebook page, and they've got the home screen where they can link videos right there. Hey, get better at Destroyers right here. The foundation of the game. Learn how to play your role, you know? And I told them to do that over a year something ago and in one ear and out the other. I even offered to do it for them. I said, hey, you come up with what you want me to talk about. I'll do the whole video. I'll edit the whole thing. I'll give you guys all the rights to it. Nothing. So I, I tried. I really did try. Nothing became of it. And so, I, yeah, I haven't been playing much Legends like the last, I would say, probably three weeks. I have gotten on here and there. and I have noticed some things, like how nothing has changed. I mean, I've gotten on there and I've played solo and I've seen what you'd expect. And then I've also gotten on there and played with... Uh, two other animals and you know games are over in 50% of the match length. I'm at a point 
um, with with my channel where I'm not really sure what to do as far as legends goes because I have created all the content that my puny little brain can think of. Past, you know, just live streaming the game or putting up game replays, I don't really know what else I can do. And I've had a lot of ideas from you guys and I just don't know. I'm I'm at I'm at a really weird point. I'm at a really weird crossroad. I don't really know what to do. See, I've I think like if you are a channel and if you just want to post replays, fire away. But for me, I haven't watched another person's replay. Oh God, it's been probably two years, year and a half since I've watched somebody else's replay. Cause that kind of content just doesn't interest me. It just doesn't. And I feel like a lot of the people that have been playing three or four years, they don't want to watch 12 minutes of somebody else play a game. They have 15,000 battles in just so you can have like a mediocre score. Maybe, maybe it's a little above average. I know those people out there exist, but I'm not sure that's what I want to do. I don't really know the answer. Um, I mean, one idea that I did have is maybe I could go back and I could redo some of the old videos that I've already done. That's one potential idea. You know, kind of maybe put a fresh spin on them. Or just, you know, help get that content out there, some of that helpful stuff. And that might be what I do for, you know, a short little while. But personally, I really, I don't, I don't know what the answer is. And I don't see the longevity anymore. You know, if you asked me this question two years ago, I would have said, you know, five, six years until this game becomes World of Tanks, basically. People still play World of Tanks. Don't get me wrong. But I would argue probably 80 plus percent of them left, including me. And since we've already crested the four year mark, I feel like we're past the 50% point here with this game. Does it mean it will ever die? Who knows? Who knows? Could a large percentage of the players and everyone leave? Yeah, it could happen. It probably will happen eventually. Question is when. Honestly, it's just, it's, it's kind of sad because I, I saw this coming like two years ago and I, I did everything in my power to try and help. And it is what it is now, guys. It is what it is. I'd be really curious, though, to hear from you guys down in the comments section, your thoughts, your experience, you know, your timeline, how long do you think we have left, et cetera, et cetera. You can add whatever you want, and I'll read it all. But that is going to wrap up this video. Ladies and gentlemen, hope you guys have a fantastic start to your week. Hopefully, I'll see you guys again real soon. Peace.